Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Charles channel, and another episode inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, Percy. Good, Dylan. D D D hello, Molly. D Dylan, get out of there. What's going on? Are you feeling okay? Are you, are you, are you, are you feeling okay? Uh, you look, you're looking a bit off today, Dylan. Uh, I must say, but uh, that's that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go <laughs> and grab my breakfast. No, dum, 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 dum. Delicious. And we're gonna head straight off to the Love Garden today. Now. I know I said that we were going to be playing uh, the, the, the game that we built in the last episode. Also, we'll talk about my armor in just a second. But, um, yeah, I, th I knew I said we were going to play the uh, the game we were going to play in the, the last episode. But um, I'll explain that in a second. But first, we're going to add someone to the love gun. Today to the love gun, I'm adding codec extras. And that is because, uh, well, codec, well, codec's already in the love gun. But codec made this really incredible picture of my Minecraft skin. Um, and as you can see, I'm, like, in the forest. And I got my sunglasses just above my head. And I thought this was really, really cool. Codec is such a creative person and his channel will be in the description below he also makes the music for season two and i just thought this was really really cool and i think he deserved a spot even though he is already in the love garden he is over uh he is here so um yeah thank you for that codec and welcome to the love garden so we're gonna go and head off to the town today now i know i said we're gonna be playing bombs away too but we're not gonna be playing bombs away too oh is that fred's cousin i've uh, Fred, I've been seeing Fred's cousin around recently, and, uh, you know, I, I think he's looking for him. I, I don't know why, but uh, we're going to take Frosty with us today, and then we're going to go and head off straight over to the uh, next to the perfect piano shop, where we're going to be building a brand new shop today. Now, I know as we said we were going to be playing Bombs Away. However, the game needs tweaking, and we're going to be doing that off camera, and we're going to be playing it in episode 900. Uh, I've decided that we are going to be doing a tour. And we're going to be playing some games that we haven't played in a while. So we'll be playing Crickcraft. And we'll also be playing Bombs Away. Um, so it kind of can give you guys a bit of a, you know, a, a look at what the game actually does. But it needed a lot of tweaking. And, you know, I, I felt that it wasn't ready to be actually played for you guys. So I've kind of put it to the side of my mind. I'm just going to get right back to building in the town. Because that is p actually where I prefer building, to be honest. I prefer building in the town. So my armor... Um, um, I did a bit of customizing to it. Um, me and Molly set up really, really late last night playing around my armor. And it's all enchanted now. And it's blue. It's got blue... Um, what would you call them, Molly? It's got blue streaks, you could say. So, Forrest, if you... Uh, Frosty, sorry. If you want to sit down there. Now, I don't know what these two are going to be doing today. Because they told me that they were going to be building a secret... And I can't see it till the end of the episode. So they're going to go They're going to go over there and build whatever they want to build. And me and Molly are going to be working on a brand new speaker shop. This shop is called Sounds Swell. So let me just grab some materials. I'm going to grab some grey concrete. Uh, some black concrete. Some grey and some coal. Um, Molly, we're going to need probably... Well, I, I know for a fact we're going to need more coal. So this build, I think, is uh, 15 blocks. No, it's longer than that. Uh, so it goes... Hmm... One, two, three, and then let me grab some black wool uh, in here. So if this is kind of uh, very similar to the Cat Chat radio station, if you guys have seen that uh, with the speaker design, and it is actually sponsored by Cat Chat. So that's why we've kind of built it this way. And oh, um, something's wrong. Maybe uh, Molly, instead of building this, do you just want to quickly shift the path over a block so um, we've got plenty of space to build? Uh, because I, there's like one block missing here, and I just didn't want to get them all messed up. So, back to what I was saying. So yeah, we kind of twisted my armor a bit. Um, and I, I, I know that some of you guys may be disappointed about us not playing Bombs Away 2. Um, I know that some people were actually looking forward for me to playing that game. I haven't played a Funland game or built a Funland game in a while. Um, but I am just struggling to kind of come up with good ideas for Funland. Um, so we have started a competition, by the way, in the Discord server. If you're not in the Discord server, the link will be in the description um, where you can go and um, join in, uh, which is basically, uh, if you bought a Funland game, okay, and I like it, you will get it in Season 2. That is, that's the main point. So you guys can actually have influence over what we build in Season 2, which I just thought was really, really cool. Um, and, oh. Is that supposed to be... Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's perfect. Um, so, yeah, let's just continue on with this. I'm not sure if I actually told you guys what the name is. So this speaker shop is going to be called Sounds Swell. And it's going to have a wide range of different speakers inside. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of going to look like this. It's kind of going to be like a radio. 
you could say. That's kind of going to be what it's designed. And, oh, Molly, that uh, that black uh, concrete needs to be moved over. If you want to do that, and I'll get to work on this side. So this build is, I think, nine blocks wide. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or is it longer? Um... I'm just looking at my schematic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's ten blocks long, so ten, and then that should leave. Hmm. For some reason, I don't know the own size of my building. Uh, there should be. F okay, no, it's uh, bigger than this, so it's like that. So there's four blocks this way, four blocks this side, and then a black concrete there. And there you go. It should lead one path, uh, one block to the path here. Okay, so now we've got to go uh, do the exact same thing on the back of the uh, speakers. So let me just go one, two, three, and then this one will be five blocks long. And there'll be three blocks here, and then there'll be uh, like that. And there also, remember, Molly, there's going to be black concrete on the corners with torches on them like this. Um, so under here, um, by the way, is a lot of it's a lot of empty land. And I wasn't sure if we were going to fill it or if we were just going to leave it to be. And I think we probably will eventually fill it, mainly because if you can't hear... Because I'm not sure how like loud the audio is on C or uh, for you guys, but it's pretty loud for me. I can I can hear it more than I can hear myself for my feedback. Um, but there it does sound like there's mobs under here. It does sound like there's a lot of googlies under here, which is a bit of a problem because um, we don't want any googlies uh, messing up or interrupting. Um, you know the the thing at all. Uh, what's going on, Molly? Uh, what's up? Um, okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So it needs to be one bigger. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just quickly dig all of this out. So it's going to be getting dark soon, Molly. So we'll probably just head to sleep in a minute anyway. Um, if you've left any beds out. If you haven't, it's fine. We can just um, probably craft some. We've got plenty of wool on us. Uh, so I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this. It's one, two, and then three blocks again. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then three blocks again. And then um, one, two, and black concrete in the corner. There you go. So that's perfect. Let's just quickly destroy this. I really should... I re I, I've said this about a hundred times, I think, while I was recording, that I really need to start bringing some shears with me because I, I'm, I'm, I'm usually really over-prepared for, like, uh, builds in Season 2. But the one thing I always forget to bring is a pair of shears. And they might not seem, uh, like, a lot, or they might not seem very significant, but... They are, because uh, we, we build a lot of with wool in Season 2. Um, and, well, in Stanley's one in general, really, he, he built uh, a lot with wool. But he always remembered his shears. And I never remember my shears. So I'm probably going to have to have, like, Molly or Dylan, um, like, remind me at the start of the episode. I mean, Percy's very um, very Percy's very clumsy. Percy doesn't, doesn't really remember where he leaves things. Uh, Molly, have you got any more black wool? I just need a bit, a little bit more. Uh, if you've got any, that's fine. I'll thank you, Molly. Um... Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Percy's very, um, like, he misplaces a lot of things, which is why I wouldn't exactly trust him to uh, remind me to, <laughs> to get my shears. Um, <laughs> no offence to Percy. Percy's great. Percy's a great helper. Um, but I don't, I'm not entirely sure that he would just remember to uh, give me my shears at the start of the episode. Also, Molly, we're going to need some more coal, so I'm not sure if you're going to want to head back to the house to get that, or if you're going to want to, um... Just, like, if you've got any on you or something. Uh, I don't really know. But, it, like I said, it's going to be very much like cat chat. So, there's going to be a uh, grey wall sitting all the way around here. And then there'll be, in the middle, there'll be a uh, block of coal to act like the speaker. And, uh, yeah, I guess you could... It's, it's kind of a... It's kind of not a speaker. It's kind of a radio. Yes. But, I don't know. I don't know. It's, like, it is kind of a speaker. <laughs> that's kind of thing. I kind of was trying to design it uh, so it's like a speaker. And then when we actually got to, like, building it, it was, um, like, I don't know how to explain it. It was, a, uh, it, it, it looked more like a radio. So <laughs> we're probably just going to, uh, uh, coal in barrel. Okay, thank you, Molly. Uh, we also should really sleep. Because there's phantoms about, and I don't really want to get uh, killed today. Um, I don't really want to get assassinated. Forrest, are you, uh, Frosty, are you doing okay? Are you sure? Yeah, you're okay? Oh, I, I need to start bringing some food with me on these episodes as well. And all. There's plenty of beds here, so let me just uh, head to sleep. And then in the morning, when we wake up, uh, we can continue working on the Swell Speaker Shop. So, yeah, I guess... There's a bunch of different speakers in there. There's going to be some olden time speakers. There's going to be some new style speakers. There's going to be corner speakers. There's going to be a bunch of different speakers. Um, and it's very simple. It's very laid back, this shop. It's kind of like an old vintage shop, you could say. That's kind of what I was going for when designing it. Um, and we just got to wait for Percy to sleep. 
Um, but there's like, uh, I can't exactly remember the names of them, and I'll probably have to come and show you guys uh, the finished product at the end or in the next, at uh, the beginning of the next episode, because I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to remember the name of this. I mean, in the, at the end of the day, right, um, I'm always going to come back and show you what I've done, even if like, I forget to, because we are, of course, going to be doing episode 900 soon. Uh, we are fast approaching that. I think we've got like 24 episodes left until episode 800, which is um, it's, it's a bit daunting, really, because like that's like the first big milestone. I've done at that point like 80 episodes inside of Sampy's Lovely World, and even though I, I still know it's not my world, right? But it's the more and more I build in it, the more and more I feel at home, if you get what I mean. I'm, I'm feeling more, like, welcome in this world, because everywhere you go is, like, a personal label that Stampy has been there. Um, but, because, of course, it is Stampy's world, and he was here for so long that it would be it would be weird without uh, Stampy. Like, it would be weird without all his gestures and, like, his, his hot buns, for example. And Stampy says that we built near, uh, near recently. You know, it'd be weird without all of that. It would just be like a... It wouldn't feel like his lovely world. But... I'm I'm making it I I'm hoping to make it feel more like my world if you know it's not this is the thing it's not like Stampy isn't here anymore and I know it's horrible to say but he isn't and somebody's got to take his mantle somebody's got to take his place and that was me and you know it's not my world and I've never going to con it my world and it's always going to be Stampy's lovely world but I'm just trying to piece together his story and I'm trying to finish it if you get what I mean because it felt unfinished there's parts of with hit the target like Stampy handing over his world to hit the target never made sense to me. So I'm thinking there's got to be some deeper meaning behind Stampy's, like, Stampy's thoughts about how he just gave the world up like that. He's been here for so, so long, and he just, it's like, he didn't care. He just gave it up. Like, I know he gave it up for the greater good. I know he gave it up for Barnaby, but it just, it didn't feel right. Sorry about that. I was just having a couple of technical issues. My game just fully froze and I couldn't do anything. Um, but back to what I was saying. Yeah, it just, the story doesn't feel finished. And I kind of want to finish it. I kind of want to put a, a cherry on top. And that's not why... That's not, that's not me saying when I end my series or my continuation that you guys can't continue it. I'm sure that there will be some way that you can twist the story to make make it look... Or make it... Uh, make make your, oh, Have your own twist on things, if you got what I mean. But um, I know... That when when this when my time in Lovely World comes to an end, my story will be finished. That is for sure. I will be finished with this place. I, I won't need. I'll be gone. I'll be like. I won't be coming back. You know. Because like I said, this is Stampy's world, but it is. It is just like like I said. It is just not. It does not feel like it's been finished. It feels like there's a massive chunk of this world that is still to be discovered. That is still there's a there's secrets lurking in behind things that you know we 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 need to discover. And I want to do that before I leave this place because of course that is the end goal. I will not be I will not be here for nearly as long as Stampy was. You know, Stampy went for almost eight hundred episodes. No, no, he went for like more than eight hundred episodes. But the thing is, it just it's not my world and. Like, though I'm trying to make it feel like mine, it isn't. And I need to make that perfectly clear to everybody watching that this is not my world. And as much as much as I love it and as much as uh, I've made so many great memories over here already and I've got so many great friends, it's never going to feel like my world because of how long Stampy was here for and the legacy that whole, like lives behind this world. It, you know, I, 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 I know. I, it's just like, I, I don't know what to really say anymore. It's kind of like... Stampy meant so much to all of you guys that watch this series, and that's why you watch this series. You don't watch it for me. You watch it for, for Stampy and to see what his world becomes. But, you know, I, I, I've, got a lot of, I've got a lot of things in store for you guys, so don't give up on me yet. I've, I've still got some go in me. I, I've still, I'm going to finish my part uh, and uh, do this. Oh, so I need to quickly change these vlogs around. But anyway... There's my rant over. Let's go back to Swell Speakers. So, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to name all the speakers in this episode because I don't actually have the product names, but I do have the product designs that we will be placing down. And, oh, Molly, we've messed that up. Let's just quickly place this back and then... There you go. So, yeah, uh, we've, I've not exactly got the product names, but I do have the product designs. So, uh, I can build that, all of them for you. And, like I said uh, earlier, it's kind of a style... Uh, it's an olden style shop with some newer and older products in. That's the kind of speakers that we're going for. I kind of want this area to be more... More um, basic, like, actual product shopping. And then the other side of the town to be more restaurant. Like, like Stampy thought it was going to be. I want it to kind of be more sophisticated, if you know what I mean. So... Now that we've got, we've done that, we can move on. Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> 
Uh, there you go. Uh, we can move on to uh, the next section of Swell Speakers. So we're going to have, uh, we're just going to grab a bunch of things. And it's, of course it's raining. When does it not rain? Inside of Stampy's lovely world. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> uh, I got something stuck in my throat. Um, but we're just going to move uh, on. We're going to continue. Oh, uh, no, I've got black concrete. That's fine. Uh, Molly, you forgot to put um, you got a couple of things on the chest, but it's okay. Don't worry about it, Molly. You're doing an excellent job. So we're just going to place uh, three, four, five spruce here. I'm going to go here, and it's going to be like a massive table. So I'm not sure exactly where this section ends. It goes two, and one, two, and then there's going to be a gap of two, it's going to be three, and there's going to be one, and then the table is going to go here. So this is where the count is going to be. Um, so here we're going to have our first speaker, and this is going to be a big boom box style. So Molly, if you can just quickly move out the way, um, I'm going to make a bigger boom box style speaker, and it's going to be uh, they're going to it's going to have six. Um, I, I don't know what you'd call them. I, I guess you could, you could call them like uh, actual the speaker. There's going to have six actual speakers in this one big speaker. There you go. And then it's going to have uh, two grey. So that's like for the bass. And then two um, two black concrete, which is going to be for the more of the, uh, you know, the stereo and things like that. The kind of more uh, normal sounds that you'd hear out of a speaker. You know, you've got I, something that I've never understand stood about people that listen to music. is that these really like... There's different styles of music, of course. You know, you've got classical, and you've got you've got all of these different types of music, right? But then you've got oh, hello, Dylan. Oh, is that a, is that something that I've got to look at later? I'm not going to come and look now, Dylan. I will come and look before the epi end of the episode. I do promise. Um, we're just going to finish off swell speakers first. Um, let me grab this, and I'll grab some coal out the barrel, and we're going to build the actual TV speakers. So there's going to be two blocks there, and there's going to be three blocks below, and there's gonna be, uh, we're going to build a, a prop TV. <laughs> it's not going to work, don't worry, it's, it's, it's a fake TV, guys. Uh, we're not going to be watching any videos in here, uh, but I'm going to place two buttons here and here, and then we have got, I think, two more, se uh, three more speakers left. We've got, I think, the sound bar, and we've got some more traditional speakers, and oh, Molly, I think you've forgotten a dispenser for uh the speaker that goes here uh but it's okay i'm gonna build uh oh there you go there thank you molly um you didn't forget it you just had it on you so there's a speaker that's gonna go here and then it's gonna have a slab on top and it's gonna be um uh, have a button in the item frame so it's gonna be a this is more of like a olden style speaker then we're gonna make a sound bar so this is gonna go above this one and it's gonna go one two three actually it's gonna come on over uh, here and it's gonna have three speakers in it and they're all gonna be twisted to the side That's the sound bar. So that would be mounted above a like below your TV if you wanted it And then we're gonna have wall speakers which you'd find in like a studio um, And things like that and they're just gonna go on the wall here and here and then they're gonna go here and here And there we go. That is kind of the idea. They're all gonna be labeled. So don't worry uh, I'll come back and show you that in the next episode. We've also got to build uh, the like the cash register um so let me just quickly knock this block out and i'll come back out here Have we got any trapdoors molly uh no I i'll put i'll put the name in you you get the trapdoors and everything and then we'll go and have a look at what dylan and percy have been up to this episode and then in the next episode uh we will go and we can make a brand new shop that's gonna take us more it's gonna take us more than two ep uh one episode to build don't worry so this shop is called swell speakers like this and we're going to put some uh, white dye on it and we'll uh, glow it up like that so there you go that is swell speakers uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, got any grapes what What do you mean Dylan let's, uh, let's go and have a look I think this is time for to, to go and look at what they're building uh, or they've been building this episode uh, see stand before reading um, the lemon hit the boat hit button totally not a song oh so you put a lemonade stand That that's cool uh A duck walked up to a lemonade stand, and he said to the pig, Oh, it's it's the duck song, Molly! <laughs> They've been building a duck song. That's why I've been hearing no blocks this episode. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand, and he said to the pig running the stand, Hey, bom bom bom, got any grapes? Percy said, No, we just sell lemonade. It's cold and fresh, and it's all homemade. Why not give it a go? The Dylan said, How about no? Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. And he waddled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. Till the very next day, bum, 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 bum. Well done, guys. This is great. We're going to keep this here. We, we might not keep the signs, but we'll definitely keep your lemonade stand here. I just want to listen to this one more time. You guys are brilliant. This was excellent. Well done, guys. So that is all about the time we're going to have for in this episode. I want to thank Molly, Dylan, and Percy for joining me. I also want to thank Frosty for joining me. Come on, Frosty. Come and join us and all. 
Frosty? Where's Frosty gone? Frosty? Oh, there, there you are, Frosty. Oh, you come and join us for this outro. Uh, and yeah, a new video will be on your screens very, very shortly. Hopefully, Dylan is looking more like himself next time. Um, but I have been Charles. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Silas Danvers Lovely World, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.